We're going to explore the difference between free swinging, self closing, and soft closing hinges. A free swinging hinge is mostly used with cabinetry that doesn't have a handle on the door. Because there's virtually no resistance when opening a door with a free swinging hinge, you typically would couple the hinge with a catch in order to keep the door closed. Now a self-closing hinge is the most widely used hinge today because once the door reaches a certain point in the closing process, it's usually about four to six inches from shut, the hinge activates and pulls the door in on its own. When you compare this to a free swinging hinge where the door has to be closed manually, you would see why you would need some type of catch to keep the door closed. Now the newest type of hinge is a soft closing hinge. And you're typically gonna find these on newer cabinets as an upgraded feature. Now a soft close hinge works the same way as a self close hinge, except there's a built-in piston that prevents the door from slamming shut. So once the door reaches a certain point in the closing process, the soft close piston activates and absorbs the force which results in a smooth, quiet close. Again, that is the difference between free swinging, self-closing, and soft-closing hinges.